Hi everyone and welcome back. In today's video I'm doing a digital art tutorial and this tutorial is going to be the first in a series of four and I'm going to be in, in this series I'm taking you through step by step exactly how I created this particular piece. We're going to be doing sketching, colouring, shading, highlights, layering, gradients, we're doing the whole, I'm going to be taking you through step by step the whole thing and this is video one, this is all about sketching and I'm using my Huion GT91 tablet to uh, draw this and I'm using the tablet on default settings, I'm going to be be using Photoshop CS6. Again, default settings, default brushes. And if you're interested in the tablet I'm using, I have a full review video of it, of it up on my channel. If you click the iCards, you'll be able to see it. It's a very good tablet and very easy to use and there's loads more information if you want it. So to start with, I'm setting up my art, uh, my paper paper and I'm I'm working at an A3 size so that this will be big enough to print if I want to make prints of it um, and I'm using RGB color mode and I'm just kind of keeping all the settings as um, default and I've just set it to A3 and then I'm creating a new layer so I have the background layer and then I'm creating layer one which I've gone ahead and titled it sketch one and then I'm picking a colour. Now I like to colour, I like to sketch in a colour. You can of course use whatever colour you want. You may want to sketch in black or brown. I actually quite like sketching in blue or pink. That's personal preference. And there are lots of different brushes that come with Photoshop or whatever paint uh, programme you're using. You don't have to be using Photoshop. This tutorial will work with, with whatever you're using. But I'm just using one of the default brushes that comes with Photoshop. And I'm just going ahead and sketching. So the way that I sketch is that I start with a base layer where it's very rough and I'm just kind of blocking in shapes and blocking in roughly where things will go. And then I can go ahead and do another layer on top of that which has a more refined sketch. Now you may see, um, if you watch other digital art videos, you may see that some artists do three or four sketch layers. It depends. You can do as many as you want and as many as you need to do until, um, because sometimes, particularly when you're starting out uh, with digital art, it takes a long time to get comfortable using your pen, whether you're using a graphic monitor or just a tablet. It takes a long time sometimes just to get used to it. So um, you can just do as many sketching layers as you need to until you have exactly what you like and until you've roughed in your drawing. Now, as you can see, I'm not doing smooth, quick lines. I'm sketching in short, um, in, sh in very short, mo in short lines, and using rapid, quick motions of the pen. I'm not trying to get one long, smooth line. That is not how I sketch. I try to. It doesn't matter how rough it is because you're not going to see any of these lines once I've finished. And as you can see, I've I did. I started with the face. I moved, I did the facial features, I, I sort of positioned in the hat, I'm positioning in where I want the hair to be, and I'm also positioning in the box behind her that's going to be the gradient box, just so that I get the feel of the piece. And this is, on this very first layer, this is where I make any big, uh, dis, a big sort of layout decisions. So this is where I decide, you know, I don't want her to have a hat. This is where I may decide I want her hair to come down to this length because you can sort of step back and see the whole the, the piece as a whole and really think about the layout and the design and again I'm being really sketchy if you look at the flowers in her hat those leaves that most of those leaves are just squiggles I I find it much easier and very beneficial if I'm the sketchier I am the better at this stage because I need to it also really helps me to loosen up I did this drawing that I um this drawing in I think two sittings and I did the line art on the and the sketching in one sitting and I found that because I'd spent an hour warming up sketching I found that I could do the I found that the line art was a lot easier so I think it's it, sketching is an excellent way to um warm up a bit as well and as you can, at this point, you can reposition things if you want. And once you've kind of got the sketch how you want it, then um, I go ahead and I make the second sketch layer. And then I put the opacity of the first sketch layer down uh, down quite a lot, down to sort of about 50% or so. It depends. Sometimes it, it changes. There's no real set formula. And I often lock down that first sketch layer as well so that I don't act accidentally um, draw on it later on. So 
using on the se second sketch layer now I'm being more careful with my lines now again I'm not being as careful as I would with my line art because this is not the line art layer this is the final sketch layer and this is the layer that I'm going to be almost directly copying when I'm doing my line art so I want to be as care and be much more careful when I'm doing this and I'm also employing a little bit more line variation and um, one thing that you can do if, you, if you're new to using a, pe a pen or a graphics monitor um, one of the things that I did when I first got mine was to just take, sh just to do sheets and sheets of um, practice pages so I just, I just did a big Photoshop document and just practiced line variation so just drew and practice pressing harder and thinner with the pen on the tablet screen until I got really got the hang of it even before I started drawing anything I just did just lots of wiggly lines just to practice the line variation because I found that was really helpful and that's also another good warm-up exercise if you find that you're having trouble getting line variation, you're having trouble um, kind of getting into the hang of it, then just doing practice pages where you're just drawing lots of wiggly lines, thicker and thinner, thicker and thinner, then you might find that that's helpful. And I do think when it comes to sketching, not trying to get perfect lines is just so important. And for me, I find that it's so helpful because it really just helps to uh, lift any pressure. Um, so, you know, when you start a drawing, you um, there's a lot of pressure. You have this idea in your head a lot of the time. You want it to be really good. And um, it can just be, you know, I find that just that first sketch layer is really important. It allows me to relax, it allows me to get the gist of what I want and because this is digital art you can do layers on top of it, you won't see it anymore, you can rub stuff out, you can hit undo, it's it's a very forgiving medium I think digital art is. I think a lot of the time it's more forgiving than a traditional media, um, traditional art is just because you have the ability to um, cover up your mistakes a lot easier and I do find doing shorter motions with the pen being very sketchy on the first couple of layers is very helpful and I do find it just makes the whole process a lot easier and it allows you to work quicker as well so it allows you to keep making progress so um, now I'm working up on the hat and as you can see I've gone in and I've added a lot more detail now and the the point of my second layer now you as I said earlier you may do more than two layers of sketching you may do three or four but the point of the the layer that's the one before your line art if you're if you're sort of doing it the way that I'm showing here of course you can draw and layer and uh, use digital art any way you you want um, there's no right way of doing it this is just how I do it but the point of the layer before the the line art layer is that this layer that these sketches can still be sketchy you don't have to worry about I don't worry about line thickness line variation smooth lines but I do worry about the placement um, the placement has to be how I want it because when I'm going in with my line art on the next layer I am going to be copying almost exactly what I've drawn underneath it so it doesn't matter if the lines are rough but the placement has to be exactly where I want it as do the proportions and things like that so with the first layer very sketchy I'm just roughing out um, where I want things roughly I'm not well I'm not doing anything detailed so like with the eyes on the first layer I just roughed in uh, where the eyes went but I didn't go in and add lots of eyelashes and do any shading or just uh, do any of the lines um, of, on, on the eyelids or anything and then the same same with the hat um, when I did the first layer very rough just lots of squiggles and as you can see um, one of the things that I do keep doing every now and then is turning um, um turning the visibility off on the bottom layer just to see how the sketch the the second sketch is looking because sometimes when you have layer upon layer upon layer sometimes it you can um you can uh you need to adjust for the proportions sometimes like in her hair i decided she needed more hair at the top by her ears just to make things balance out better and I decided that I needed to just uh, edit the top of her hat a little bit and when you've got the bottom sketch layer showing through as well it can be very hard to see those sorts of mistakes so I think it's very useful that every so often you uh 
just turn the visibility on and off on several different layers if you're working on lots of different layers so that you can just see how it's looking and how it's coming and I find that that's a very important tip particularly for the, when you're doing this last sketch layer to turn off the bottom layer so that you can really see how it's going to look because the line art layer for me is going to look quite similar to this the lines will be smoother but the placement and the proportion will be very similar and you can see as when I zoom in my lines my sketching lines are nowhere near smooth but I'm not worried about that I'm just trying to get the layout exactly how I want it. So that's how I do the sketching portion of my video of my piece. I'm save, I've am saved. i just saved it now. I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial. In the next video I'm going to be focusing on the line art so I hope you'll um, come back next week or in the next few days whenever I manage to upload it. I'm trying to get these tutorials out quite uh, quickly so that you can uh, just follow along and as I said earlier there's no one right way to do this um, this is the way I do it and if it's helpful to you then I'm, I'm really pleased but if not no worries if if you don't find this helpful or if there's someone else on YouTube who does digital art tutorials and you find their videos more helpful or you prefer their way of doing things then fine find your own way of doing it but um, I'm just sharing how I am doing it okay so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video make sure you leave a comment down below if you have any questions and I will see you again next time